Hello guys, this is the Ellipse, the Meridian Ellipse, it's a streaming uh, loudspeaker, small one, it's not that heavy, we can lift it easily, has two feet underneath here, has this uh, grill in front, here there are touch buttons to control it, so it has Bluetooth, has a uh, Ethernet, Tidal Connect, Spotify Connect and on the back we have the inputs and the outputs Mains, these three poles, one Factory Reset, Ethernet, Audio This is like a USB DAC here, you can connect or charge uh, USB-C devices USB-A in order to play back files Optical Input and uh, analog input, so one terminal here, two purposes and this is an LED for uh, indications so it's like an ellipse, you see the ge geometrical, ge geometrical uh, shape it's like an ellipse it's like an ellipse, that's why they call it an ellipse, it's not a full cycle so when we put the mains, uh, flashing blue light uh, starts above here this small size, this speaker is based on the DSP technology that Meridian has derived from the largest speakers. Controls with an app. Birds flying high. So here we play a bit. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky. So. So So guys, now it's about time to examine what's going on inside this speaker. So it has three drivers, closed cabinet here, this is the cabinet. We see the magnet here, the back side of the one of the main drivers that is located, positioned in front of the speaker. But we are focusing on the electronics now. As we can see here, the approach is totally different than the Chinese or North Korean or American ones. This is totally European, totally UK, totally... British approach, which is based in science, DSP processing, signal processing. Look, there is one, two, three, four processors on the back, four DSP processors to control everything. So nothing is by accident not, or randomly here. Everything is very well calculated and programmed. So this is the power supply, this board here, this, uh, let's say, shielded area. It's a power supply with four capacitors. These capacitors, they have, they have the, this white or um, transparent glue in order to, to reduce the vibration and increase the life of the board, of the electronics. So this, this one is the antenna, probably the Wi-Fi, and the other one is the Bluetooth. So one of them are Bluetooth, you see, one antenna here, the other is here. What else we have here? We have these twisted um, cables, three pairs that are going to the drivers. So somewhere here we have the class D amplification for the speaker, for this uh, streaming speaker. I don't know what solution uh, Meridian is using, but I can spot um, analog devices, chip, this is DAC, probably it's a DAC, it's a receiver, this one is a analog devices SS, no it's different, Korea, it's from Korea probably this is that plus D amplification here but anyways whatever it is is in high so there it's one, two of these two amplifiers let's say this is an NXP processor and then we have some memory chipsets Another process, no, this, this uh, blue board is uh, for the networking and the Bluetooth. 
XMOS means uh, USB DAC. Uh, we have USB C on the device. More chipset Cyrus Logic. Probably this is the DAC or the trans trans C fifty three three six. So there is a Cyrus Logic here. Uh, and then we have a Texas Instruments, probably this is, a, as you can see, we have Nitscon capacitors. This one is totally beyond this, but it's, this is not some soundbar since it has no HDMI input. This is a streaming speaker. So analog devices, processor, Sark. Then we have this processor, Altera, VMAC, Max V. Then we have the XMOS. Then we have Cyrus Logic, Texas Instruments, Texas Instruments down there as well. Thick cables for the speakers, NXP, another main processor. Then here's the Class D amplifications, amplification with this Korean analog device chips. I can count two of these two channels, two amplifiers, I don't know. And this is the power supply, guys.